Hello, welcome to Eagles Nest Sports. I'm Tyler. And I'm Andrew. On today's segment, we're going to talk about the first four weeks of the NFL season. Here at the Eagles Nest, we're going to focus on the top ten plays of the first four weeks. As well as the biggest upsets and the overall top performances. Now to start, here's number ten. Vance McDonald gets the pass from Big Ben and scores a 75-yard touchdown with a monstrous stiff arm. In play nine, Prince of Mukamara snags the pass from Russell Wilson and takes it all away for a pick six. Mukamara! Can he get past Russ? He does! My oh my! During number eight, we see the accuracy of Vikings QB, Kirk Cousins. Here he throws a risky pass to Adam Thielen and is caught right in between two opposing players. Ball's bobbling, takes it to his body, and goes into the end zone. When young quarterbacks are given the leadership orders in the NFL, it can be difficult for them to adapt to the new environment. However, Patrick Mahomes has shown his ability in the NFL by making some incredible plays this season. While scrambling out of the pocket, Mahomes throws a dart to the end zone to turn a probable sack into a touchdown. Speaking of young quarterbacks, number six, Baker Mayfield is on the opposite end of the pass and gets his first career reception on a successful two-point conversion to tie the Jets. Recently, Tyree Kill has been a popular name. On this punt return against the Chargers, Hill takes 91 yards while avoiding the glare and defenders for a touchdown. Hill finds an opening. Tyree Kill to the outside. Hill, blazing speed. Tyree Kill electrifying. This next play really shows off the strength of the men in the backfield. Marshawn Lynch carries himself through a countless number of defenders to get the ball across the goal line. And now for the top three plays. Play number three is from Chicago zone, Khalil Mack. Against the Green Bay Packers, Khalil Mack reads the play perfectly to swoop in and catch the attempted screen pass for the Bears' first pick six of the season. And Mack will take it all the way in for a touchdown. How crazy was that? In the number two spot, Geronimo Allison dives and deflects a punt into the air. Josh Jackson then catches the ball and takes it into the end zone for a touchdown. Finally, the number one play of the first four weeks of the season takes us to Jacksonville, where Keenan Cole makes a fabulous one-handed catch on the sideline. Those were the top ten plays of the first four weeks of the NFL season thus far. And now to turn to the big upset. The Buffalo Bills started off by putting up 17 points in the first quarter against Minnesota. With another ten in the second, the Vikings struggled to put up their only six points off of field goals in the fourth quarter. And while the number of plays and total yardage on both teams was almost the same, Minnesota forced three turnovers. In addition to this, the Buffalo defense shut down the Vikings' run game by holding them to only 14 rushing yards the whole game. In Week 3, the Detroit Lions topped the New England Patriots. The Lions had 25 first downs, while the Patriots had a mere 12. On top of this, Detroit almost doubled the Patriots in rushing yards. The final score ended up only being 26-10, with the Patriots scoreless in the first and fourth quarters. And finally, the Cleveland Browns have won a game. After 635 days, Baker Mayfield took the field for Tyrod Taylor and led the Browns to a victory. The Browns had 20 first down to the Jets 14 and had no turnovers. The New York Jets had three turnovers, which gave the Browns the advantage they needed to take home the win. Last but not least, here are your top three performers thus far. While any player can make a great play here and there, these spots were reserved for the best of the best this season. Starting with number three, Khalil Mack. Mack's been putting up all-time numbers through the first four games. With five sacks and 15 total tackles, Khalil Mack has been a beast to be reckoned with on the field since joining Chicago just before the season started. In the second spot, Alvin Kamara. This season, Kamara has put up almost 300 rushing yards and 350 receiving yards. With a total of 100 touches in the first four weeks, Kamara has been running up and down the field with ease, just like last season. A total of six touchdowns so far. His numbers will continue to rise this season. And finally, in the number one spot, this goes to Patrick Mahomes. Many times, a young quarterback will struggle to adapt to a new situation in the NFL. Patrick Mahomes is an exception. He has shown how comfortable he is in and outside of this pocket this season. With almost 120 completions and 1,500 total yards through the first few games, he has shown an incredible amount of potential in his young career. And that's a wrap here at Eagles Nest Sports. We hope you enjoyed all the plays from the first quarter of this NFL season. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you guys next time.